Hi, I'm back from my YouTube break that I took to study for my university exams and now I have a new type of video for you to watch. I wanted to start with something easy, so today I'm going to tell you about how GTA made me destroy one of my walls in the student dorm. It all started with the need for some variety in GTA Online. After grinding for my biker businesses for a long time, I was done with playing for money and I just wanted something new and fun. A lot of people would try to drive while following the laws in GTA when they're bored, but that's not really my thing because I find it very limiting. I wanted something different and not just a regular mission. In my search for entertainment, I discovered something ignored by many players. A sport that is underrated even among other sports. The one. The only. The darts. Alright, hear me out. You might be thinking, why does this matter and how is it even related to destroying a wall in real life? Don't worry, I'll get there and the story is probably not how you picture it. It all started with the country aesthetic of the place where you play darts in the game. I liked that a lot. I didn't even know the rules of the game at that time, except for the fact that you throw darts at a target, which you can guess from the name of the activity. However, a few games later I became obsessed. My character was so good at this game with the ability to focus your aim, that I decided to try the game as well in real life. I went to the city center on my bike in a break between two university courses and after testing a board and some darts in a store, I bought them. I returned with the box in my hand on my bike and somehow I didn't fall off. But there was one more problem before I could take my new things home. I still had a university course and a big box that wouldn't fit in my locker. I went to the course holding it and nobody asked me anything about it. Maybe I should do an experiment and bring bigger and bigger items to see if anyone has a reaction. After that, I went back to the student dorm with my new things and I used a nail that was in my wall and some other random things to try to get a darts board to stay still because it didn't have a proper support. After that, I started playing darts every day in my room and my girlfriend also joined me. With every miss, the wall around the board started getting damaged and under the white paint, the wall was actually black. One day, I wanted to take the target to the kitchen of the apartment and I realized how obvious the damage really was. I created a perfect circle surrounded by black spots. It was like a weird piece of modern art. This wouldn't be a problem if the room was actually owned by me, but it was rented for one year and I was about to move closer to the university. I had to fix the wall somehow, so I told my parents about it. I live in a different country now, but they decided to send me some special wall paint through the mail. That old truck delivery system that makes someone drive all the way there, but I received the paint and brush and I was happy that I could finally fix my problem. But guess what? I didn't. I was face to face with my regular enemy, procrastination. After a few weeks my problem was solved by itself because my parents also decided to visit me and they repaired the wall without being asked. And I'm so glad they did. So this was my story about finding a new passion in real life by playing GTA and destroying a wall in my room because of it. I hope you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to see more stuff from me in the future. Stay tuned.